Hello everyone, my name is Mu Hui Zhang. I just opened my PhD degree from the Hong Kong Polytechnic University. Today I will introduce our work named the Examiner Automatically Locating Inconsistent Instructions Between Real Devices and the CPU Emulators for ARM. This is a joint work with Mr. Tian Yixu from Zhejiang University, Professor Ya Jingzhou from Zhejiang University, Mr. Yu Feng Hu from Zhejiang University, Dr. Ming Zhong from Zhejiang University, Professor Lei Wu from Zhejiang University, Professor Xia Pu Luo from the Hong Kong Polytechnic University, and Professor Kui Ren from Zhejiang University. As we all know, a CPU emulator is powerful and can provide fundamental functionalities like tracing and replay for dynamic analysis. Though there exists a hardware-based tracing technique, they have limitations like the limited embedded trace buffer. On the contrary, software emulation is capable of tracing the whole program, provides user-friendly APIs for runtime instrumentation, and can be supported by multiple operating systems and architectures. Meanwhile, many dynamic analysis frameworks are built based on the state-of-the-art CPU emulators, like Camu, Unicorn, and Angle. For example, firmware Adai is used to rehost firmware binaries. ShareSwap is used to generate an exploit automatically. From AFL, Pine, and Hallucinator are used to fast firmwares. They are all built based on the above-mentioned CPU emulators. There is an implicit assumption that the execution result of the instruction can reflect the result on the real devices. However, whether this assumption really holds in reality is unknown. If there are inconsistent instructions, it can impede the reliability of emulators-based dynamic analysis. In this case, we aim to automatically locate inconsistent instructions which behave differently between emulators and real devices. We target ARM architecture, as ARM is becoming more and more popular, and emulating ARM binaries is rather important. More importantly, ARM provides architecture specification language to describe the encoding and execution process for each instruction, which can help to generate sufficient test cases. Previous works provide some valuable insights, but also have some limitations. For example, Emifather, which targets x86 or x64 architecture, uses randomized test cases or relies on the emulator or hardware to generate the test cases. The, evalu the evaluation results may be biased. Meanwhile, the whole framework requires that the emulator should be running inside the compared real devices. It can influence the scalability. Furthermore, the findings cannot be applied on ARM architecture directly. IDEV studies the semantic deviation issues in ARM architectures. However, it requires to test a huge number of test cases, which can influence the performance, and not all the instruction behaviors are covered. Apart from this, it only focuses on the triggered signals without checking the whole CPU state. The evaluation is also limited to ARM v7 and CAMU. Considering the limitation of previous works, we propose the examiner. We now illustrate how examiner works with a concrete example. Below is the encoding schema of store immediate instruction in thumb mode. Note that one instruction can have more than one instruction encoded in ARM due to the different instruction mode. We noticed that there are six encoding symbols. RN and RT represent registers, while PUW are flex. The symbol RMM8 represents an immediate value with 8 bit length. Note that encoding symbols can be mutated, while the other parts are constant. Each instruction encoding maps to one decoding and execution logic, described in ASL. For example, in line 1, the symbol RN, P, and W will be checked. If the condition is satisfied, the instruction stream is undefined. 
Undefined means that the encoding is not allocated to any instruction, or it is not acceptable as the current exception level. In this case, a signal signal is usually triggered by the operating systems. In line 8, the symbol T, W back, and N will be checked. If the condition is satisfied, the instruction stream is unpredictable. Unpredictable means that the implementation is undefined. In this case, the triggered behavior may be inconsistent and can be case by case. Examiner generates the test cases by mutating the encoding symbols and leverages a constraint solver to find the concrete value that satisfies the constraints in the ASL code. We then feed the instruction streams to the differential testing engine. We notice that one instruction stream, which is 0x F84F0DDD, will trigger a SIG illegal signal in real devices, but trigger a SIG SEGV signal in CAMU. In this case, an inconsistent instruction is located. After investigating the root cause, we found it is due to a bug in CAMU. We noticed that the encoding symbol of RN of the instruction stream 0xf84f0ddd is 1111. When Rn equals to 1111, which means the value is 15, and the instruction is in some mode, it should be an undefined instruction. Consequently, a sig illegal signal should be triggered. However, CAMU continues the decoding process directly from 912 without any check. We then submit this bug to CAMU developers, and the patch is issued, which is marked in green color from 98 to 910. Now, let me introduce the workflow of Examiner which consists of a test case generator and a differential testing engine. The test case generator receives the ASL of decoding and execution to generate instruction streams, which are the bytecode of instructions. After that, we feed the instruction streams to differential testing engine. After comparing the execution result between real devices and the CPU emulators, we locate the inconsistent instructions. Now, let me introduce the test case generator in detail. We first pass the encoding schema to retrieve the encoding symbols. We can infer their types according to their names. For example, RNRT usually represents a register, while the symbol name starting with RLM usually represents an immediate value. After that, we initialize the mutation set with predefined rules. For example, for a register index, we include the PC register R0, R1, and the random index values in the set. The register R0 and R1 are used to represent the return values for function calls, while PC can explicitly change the execution flow of the program. Thus, we add these special registers. For immediate value, apart from the random values, we also include the maximum value and the minimum value in the mutation set, as they are the boundary values. However, the initialized mutation set may not cover all the execution paths of the ASL code. In this case, we develop a symbolic execution engine to solve the constraints in the ASL code. Here we have a concrete example. In 918, there is a symbol D4 with constraint D4 is larger than 31. We retrieve all the related statements and mark them in green color. In 913, we have D4 equals to D3 plus ink, so that the constraint can be transferred into D3 plus ink is larger than 31. Similarly, after considering the expression in 912, 911, and 910, we have the constraint of VD plus 16 times D plus 3 times ink is larger than 31. Meanwhile, we have ink equals to 1 or ink equals to 2. We should also consider the length of D and VD. We feed all the constraints to constraint solver and get the solution. 
vd equals to 13, d equals to 2, and inc equals to 2. As we need to cover the different fusion paths, we need to get the constraint d4 is larger than 31, and get d4 is less or equal than 31. After that, we get another solution, vd equals to 0, d equals to 0, inc equals to 1. We append the values into the mutation set of encoding symbols, considering all the possible combinations of the candidates in the mutation set. We conduct the Cartesian product between each symbol's mutation set to get the test cases. As we mentioned before, the differential testing engine receives the generated test cases. We first need to model the CPU state. The initial state includes the PC values, registers, memories, and the system state. After executing the instruction stream, we get the final state. The final state has one more attribute, which is the triggered signals. We instrument prolog instructions to set the initial state, and epilogue instructions to dump the final state for each instruction stream. We define that the initial states on both CPU emulator and the real device are the same when all the attributes are the same. After the execution, if there is at least one attribute with different values, the final states between CPU emulator and the real devices are different. Then the instruction stream is marked as an inconsistent one. To evaluate the capability of examiner, we aim to answer four research questions. First, we want to know whether examiner can generate sufficient test cases. Second, is the examiner able to detect inconsistent instructions, and what are the root causes of these inconsistent instructions? Third, is examiner general to be applied to the other emulators? Fourth, what are the usage scenarios of the inconsistent instructions? We compared the generated test cases by examiner with the randomly generated ones. We found that examiner can generate sufficient test cases, which are all syntactically correct and all the instruction encodings are covered. On the contrary, only 37.3% of the same number of randomly generated instruction streams are syntactically correct. Furthermore, 45.5% instruction encodings, 48.6% instructions, and 37.4% constraints cannot be explored by these randomly generated instructions. We also applied examiner on CAMU and uh, compare it with four real devices in four different ARM versions. They are all Unix XI node in ARM v5, Raspberry Pi 0 in ARM v6, Raspberry Pi 2B in ARM v7, and Hikey 970 in ARM v8. Overall, more than 170,000 inconsistent instruction streams are found which covers 26.6% instruction encodings and 29.5% instructions. We investigate the root causes of the inconsistent instructions. Four bugs are discovered and are confirmed by CAMI developers, including commonly used ones. This indicates that the examiner can also explore the bugs of CPU emulators. Furthermore, unpredictable needs open implementation decision for emulators and processors. Thus, the implementation bugs and the undefined implementation in ARM manual are the major root causes. To further demonstrate that examiner is general, we apply it on the other two lightweight but also popular CPU emulators, Unicorn and Angle. As Unicorn and Angle do not provide options to specify the ARM v5 and ARM v6 architecture, we only evaluate ARM v7 and ARM v8. Furthermore, both Unicorn and Angle do not support signals. In this case, we build the mapping relationship between the exceptions raised by Angle or Unicorn 
and the signals triggered by operating systems. For example, the scene IRSB no decoder error raised by angle maps to the sig illegal signal. Finally, we found the examiner is general to be applied to the other CPU emulators. We disclosed eight more bugs and located a huge number of inconsistent instruction streams in Unicorn and Angle, respectively. To demonstrate the usage of inconsistent instructions, we use them to detect emulators. We build a native Android library with the inconsistent instructions and integrate it into the Android apps. We run the Android apps in 12 different mobiles and Android emulators in Android Studios. We noticed that all the real devices can be detected. Anti-emulation technique is important and can prevent the malware's malicious behavior from being analyzed. Inconsistent instructions can be used to do anti-emulation. For example, 0x E61 0000 is an unpredictable instruction stream. Real devices raise SIG illegal signal, while in emulator, the SIG stack V is raised. However, the malicious behavior is triggered in the SIG illegal handlers. In this case, no malicious behavior is observed in emulators. The inconsistent instructions can also be used to conduct anti fuzzing We instrument the inconsistent instructions into the binaries. The selected inconsistent instructions executed normally in real devices, but triggers the signal illegal signals on Kami. In this case, we found that the explored execution path for the instrumented binaries is rather low. Finally, to conclude our work, we propose a sufficient test case generator by introducing the first symbolic execution engine for ARM ASL. We implement the examiner and apply it on three emulators for four different ARM versions, and a huge number of inconsistent instructions are found. Twelve bugs of the emulators are located. Furthermore, we demonstrate the usage scenario of these inconsistent instructions with three different applications like emulator detection, anti emulation, and anti fuzzing. Thanks for your listening. I'd be glad to answer all your questions.